Too delicious to resist. I don't care. I'm here to defend my hard work and my honey. You're perfectly capable of finding your own food. Now go away. Don't get mad. If you like, I'll promise that I'll never come and steal your yummy honey again. Ha! I've heard that before, but I know you. Fellow drones, come here. We're going to teach him a lesson. Oh! 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 Right. <laughs> uh, those honeybees sure are stingy with their honey. Serves you right for stealing it in the first place, but don't worry. Alex will be here to take care of you. My snout's all swollen. <laughs> Alex! Yes? Quick, Blue needs help. Tell me what's wrong with him so I know what to bring. He was attacked by the honeybees. He must have been stealing honey again. That bear. When is he going to learn? All set. By the way, Buckshot, did the honeybees sting him? Oh, yes, plenty of times. I'll be right back. I need to get my special ointment. <laughs> I'll only be a minute. Wait right there. We'll get there much faster if I ride on your back. Don't move. Stay right there. I'm going to jump. Ready, Alex. Go ahead. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, it hurts. Here they are. We came as fast as we could. I will teach you to steal honey from the bees. I know I shouldn't have done it, but it's so hard. I love honey so much, I just couldn't resist. But now I'm sorry. You're in luck. I have something that will cure those bumps right away. Be gentle, Alex. I apply oh. one leaf oh. on each little bump. There. Oh. Don't be such a baby. I'm not even pressing hard. There. All finished. And you look better than ever. Yes, I'm sure you're right. Green is my color. <laughs> this feels good. Hey, you, get back to your spot. I need you. <laughs> it's not very nice to make fun of your patients. <laughs> listen, listen, you guys. I know that if you loved honey as much as I do, you wouldn't have been able to resist it either. Oh, isn't he a fine example? It's very hard to resist temptation. And like all bears, I just love food. We all know that, Baloo. It goes without saying. <laughs> Why else would you be so chubby? But you'd be better off teaching your friends something useful instead of filling their heads with nonsense. I am not talking nonsense! Now don't get so upset, Baloo. It makes your snout swell up. 
<laughs> I'm sorry I'm still a little grumpy because these bee stings still hurt. Temptation has a high price. Come, Simba, I'm taking you on your first hunting lesson. Huh? Wow! <laughs> Bye. Be careful. Bye! <laughs> Goodness, look at you. <laughs> I'm happy for Simba. Come on, Baloo, I'll race you to the pond. All right, Simba, come along. Right, I'm here. <sighs> Try not to get lost. <laughs> Have fun. Happy hunting. Simba, stop scampering and walk quietly. Oh, right. And now, Simba, I want you to listen carefully and try to remember what I say. I won't let you down, Bagheera. Whenever you go out hunting, all of your senses need to be alert, understand? And the first sense you need to develop is your sense of smell. That's what guides you to your prey. See, I can smell. Very good. I think I smell a rabbit around here, Bagheera. Yes, but you'll never be successful if you just sniff haphazardly. I'll show you how to follow a scent when you discover signs that a rabbit has passed by. See those? The scattered leaves. Yes, from rabbits, huh? They nibbled on some of them. Follow their scent. <clears throat> We're getting close. to their warren. Let's wait. They'll come out eventually, so we just need to be patient and sooner or later we'll be rewarded. Where are you, rabbits? Let's leave the rabbits for now. How come, Magira? Today, you need to learn how to recognize many smells. Close. It's the scent of a deer, Simba, but this one didn't come from buckshot. Each animal has its own scent, and this one comes from a big deer. Can we find out where he is? Huh? At this time of day, he and all the other males are competing down by the watering hole. Yes, that's nature's way. Only one male can be the leader of the herd, and he must be strong. Then, all of the other deer will follow the winner. Look, the prettiest one in the herd is watching very closely. Come along, you've still got a lot to learn. Now which animal tracks are we gonna follow, huh? <laughs> Elephants, zebras, hyenas? No more animals. Try finding some fresh water. All right, I'll do my best. Shots in danger. Ah, uh, yes, that must be your sixth sense. My what? What's that, my sixth sense? It's also what we call intuition. It's difficult to explain. It's a feeling that you have deep down inside of you. 
It's not rational, so you can decide to heat it or not. Sometimes it's real, sometimes it's not. This time it's real. I'm going to heat my sixth sense, all right? If you're sure, go ahead. Trust your instincts. Heed your intuition. Be careful. I better keep an eye on him. So brave. I'm glad I'm up here. They won't bother you anymore. Thank you, Simba. Did they hurt you? Huh, Buck? Oh. Don't forget, I'm just following Master's orders. <laughs> One day when I'm big, I'm gonna put your master in his place. Tell him. I'll give him the message. <laughs> We'll be fine now. Let's go find Alex oh. so she can take a look at you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, someday he will be a great king. Oh, can you walk? Oh, I think so. But how did you know I was in trouble? I was going over hunting lessons with Bagheera when all of a sudden I had this strong feeling you needed me. A feeling? Bagheera called it my sixth sense. Really? I just knew you were in danger. Come on! Let's take a nice nap in the sun. Excellent idea. A little nap will do me good. I'm pretty tired. Does it hurt a lot? No, I'm fine. You know what we should do? Lie down in the grass and stare at the sun. All right. Sounds neat. Wahoo! <laughs> this will warm you right up. Oh. 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 Wee! <laughs> This hurts my eyes. Hello. Huh. Hey, don't do that. I can't stand for anyone to touch my nose. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hasn't anyone ever told you not to stare directly at the sun, Simba? It's very dangerous. It could burn your eyes. Ah, uh, leave me alone. I want to discover the sun's power on my own. Do as you wish. But if you burn your eyes, you won't be able to see anymore. You should listen to her. If you stare at the sun for too long, it can be harmful. Go to sleep, Buckshot. I want to finish my experiment, okay? Mr. Sun, 
Tell me why you're so hot. I want to know. You will never know the secret behind my power. My heat and strength will destroy you if you are not careful. Incredible! My eyes are closed and I still see the sun! My power is infinite. Simba! Simba, you know you're not supposed to stare at the sun! Well, why not, Ludwig? I thought you told me that the sun was my friend. Yes, but staring at him is considered a direct challenge. Oh, really? The sun is life. Without him, there would be nothing on Earth. No animals or insects or plants, not a thing. You must always respect his power. Let me tell you a story about a friend of mine who stared at the sun. She went blind because she dared challenge him. Warm sun, brilliant sun, what is the secret behind your power? Thanks to you, I am warm and my skin sheds easily. I warm you and help you as all other creatures on Earth. Dear son, I know, but please make it so that I may understand the mystery behind your power. Uh, help! I can't see anymore! You dared challenge the sun, didn't you? Uh, and you lost! I can't see anything! I'm blind! <laughs> Help me! Oh, uh. Poor thing. I'll go fetch Alex so she can try to help you. Don't you move. Oh, no. no. Uh. Alex! Alex! Yes? What is Come it? Come quickly! A friend of mine needs your help. Hop on! Right! Alex, do uh, everything you can for her. I'll try. Come Thank here. You. Make her well again and I'll be in your tent. Oh, that's not necessary. I'm afraid there isn't much I can do. I'll take care of you, my darling. I'll hunt for you every day. Let's try this compress. Be still. Oh. She stared at the sun for too long, and now she's paying the price for it. She'll always be blind. I'll never leave you alone. I'll become your eyes. I'll always be here for you, dearest. Don't you worry now. Oh. And that is why my friend is blind today. It's so sad. <laughs> you understand the moral of the tale. Never challenge nature, otherwise she will punish you. I understand. Uh -huh. I sure have learned a lot today. The owl can teach you much more. He knows even more than I do. You should go see him. So long! If you are up for it, we can race Ready our way home are? to Mother Wolf's. Come on! I want to get home. I'm hungry. <laughs> I was starting to worry. Sorry, Mother Wolf, but we had a very busy day. <laughs> Kimba, the only reason I don't stay to play is because I have so much to learn about the jungle and its creatures. I learn every single day. We only said it because we miss you. Buckshot, sweetheart, what happened to you, hmm? The monkeys, they ambushed me and then they kicked me. They did? Why did they do that? Tell me everything. Were you by yourself? Where was Simba? I was with Bagheera. He was giving me a lesson on smell and how to follow oh, animals. Yes, you sex. had your first hunting lesson. I see. Did you like it? Yes, but... I had this very strong feeling that Buckshot was in danger and that he needed my help. 
You found your sixth sense. That's what I told him. Our little Simba's quite precocious. He used his sixth sense before he developed any of his other five senses. Yes, he was telling me that you gave him his first lesson on hunting by smell. You will be like your father. Growing up kind and generous. Buckshot, will you Oh, spare? sure. The monkeys were being very mean before Simba Ollie, came. Ollie, you and the others go get Alex so she can help Buckshot. Yes, mother. Hurry up, my little ones. We will. I'll come with you, Me too. too. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Come home soon. Will he be all right? Of course. It's not serious. You can still play. Really? So much like his father, don't you think? They're so alike. But he's too independent. Don't worry. Nature will take care of all that. Simba is learning all about life. His friends are teaching him how to use his senses to think about the consequences of his actions and to live in harmony and have respect for others. When Simba grows up, he'll use his strength and knowledge for the good of his friends and family. We'll be seeing that soon.